In this quick video, we're going to show you the LED indicators and explain what each one is on the PX5 PAPR. First of all, on the side of the PAPR is a large on-off button that you need to press and hold to turn that unit on. Once the unit runs through its startup phase, it'll illustrate the filter capacity, the fan speed, and the battery capacity. So for the filter capacity, the PX5 is currently got brand new filters in it, so it is showing a green light at the least amount of blockage. If we were to simulate a blocked filter here, you'll notice that that light will change to an amber and eventually a red before that unit starts to alarm and vibrate. So you can hear that as the filter gets blocked, the fan ramps up in speed to compensate that blockage until it gets to a point to where it just can't provide enough airflow and at that point it starts to alarm and vibrate. Then you've got the fan speed indicator. There are three fan speeds on the PX5. To adjust this you simply press the on off button and that will increase the fan speed. Then you've got the battery life indicator. As the battery loses charge, the lights will slowly drop off the indicator until eventually the last light will display a red. Once it gets to that point, there's a few minutes before the unit will start to alarm and vibrate to alert the operator that the battery needs to be replaced. Once the unit starts to alarm and vibrate, that's an indication that there's around 10 to 15 minutes of charge time left on that battery before the PAPR will completely shut down. So it's important that once the alarm and vibration occurs, and it is a battery life indicator, that that battery gets recharged or replaced with a fully charged battery so that you can continue normal operation. And that explains the LED indicators on the PX5 PAPR.